There are a large range of verbal communication abilities in a dementia unit. In any one unit, say of 30 people, there'll be less than a handful, maybe only two or three, who can communicate independently and hold their own in a conversation consistently. But these two or three people are very important because in activities, they'll inspire other dementia residents as to what is possible. And also, they often act as a liaison point between dementia residents who can't communicate as clearly with staff. So if staff don't understand what the issue is, these well-communicating dementia residents can inform them of what the problem is likely to be. And they often get it right, whether it's pain or whether it's um, that they're thirsty or hungry or haven't slept well or didn't like the shower or whatever it is. They often pick it up and can inform the staff when they are either too busy or not able to understand the dementia resident. At one of the facilities I worked at, there was a woman who um, was very articulate, very well read, astute, did all the crosswords, all the quizzes, came in bright as a button, bit sarcastic, but still. Uh, and she couldn't understand why all the other residents were so shut down and shut off. And she used to say, well, can't they read? They should do something. They should make an effort or something. Anyway, in time she turned and she became more tolerant and even more compassionate and understanding of the residents that didn't have similar ability to her. And in fact, she even started coaching one or two of the residents that wanted to learn, relearn the names of their sons and daughters because they'd forgotten it through the dementia. And she was able to succeed in that. One woman did very well learning the name of her three sons and she hadn't been able to get that for years. Family astounded, of course. So this is the way that people that can communicate well, residents that can communicate well, can bring life to the dementia unit. Uh, you can't have everyone all shut down in the activities because you'll never get anywhere. Whereas if you've got people that are bright and that communicate and inspire the others, and support the others and bring forward the others, that's the big thing. That's really when the community starts to change. When these particular dementia residents have befriended the other dementia residents who can't communicate well, and they start to encourage them to concentrate, focus, communicate and come forward, really tables start turning. And this particular lady I was mentioning, she was really encouraging once she had a lot of energy and she was very bright. So once she turned her attitude and started having compassion for the other residents, she really came forward so that anyone, you know, that was sort of quite shut down and shut off and hadn't spoken for months, whatever they used, whatever they said, I mean, it didn't matter what they said, as long as it was something, she'd encourage them and say, that's very good, good on you, make more of an effort, you'll be able to do more in time and yeah dementia residents encouraging other dementia residents is so much more powerful than staff trying to do the same or even relatives because the residents know that they're all in the same boat uh they're you know facing the same issues and if they say a dementia resident says something to them it's likely that it is within reasonable reach for them, you know, uh, that they're able to make that effort, seeing that they've been able to, then they are inspired to do the same. So these residents that communicate well, really, they need the opportunity with newspapers, reading, magazines, material, outings, visits, they need input, new input to stimulate their cognition to keep on top of things, to keep astute through their own initiative and also through knowledge and information coming in and supporting them with that, friends, family, staff alike, because they will be the ones to generate the progress with the other dementia residents, which indeed happened where I worked in a community. Positive community was established as a result, which I've written about in The Residents' Voice and The Residents' Rise on Amazon, everything in the description below, companion books, good read, positive, all positive. 
So thank you for your views, likes, looks and comments. I really appreciate it getting this platform up and running. Thank you.